because she becomes very inhibited when the matches go away from her. in the first three service points here she's Into just the raised the bar a bit Serena saying uh, Patrick I know you're nearby here in Paris uh, you think we might talk about my game it's nice they bring back so many of the, the top ex uh, Spanish players here to this event put away for Williams at the net. Yes, just to continue. And Williams applying the pressure. Cruising in the early stages of this match so far. Oh! Well, we did that match yesterday. Took quite a bit, but uh, he's not used to going the distance the way she did yesterday. That's my favourite return of serve for Serena Williams, that backhand cross-court return. She and that's just swatted away, isn't it? <laughs> it's like watching someone with a fly swatter. You can make sure that it does stay as good as it is. And sometimes constant reminders just to maintain the high level that she set for herself. There is the break. With the WTA does a great job and typing up. Editing highlights, putting it all out there for you. Well, I don't think she's yet produced one of her big serves yet at this match. Oh, she just makes the game so easy. Sometimes needs to remind herself to bring out her personality on the tennis court. I found the back of the line as well, even with the advent of the right Hawkeye right technology. One can have a look, and then they always put the cameras on you afterwards as well. And going back to your statement about how popular Suarez Navarro is. The intense intensity that she can, that'll that'll help right the ship <laughs> if she is feeling any pressure. Uh, what does she need to do out here today? Well, now there. Starting to exert a little bit extra effort, and she had to almost as long. Top <laughs> soul on here, it's just sticking to that surface, quite difficult to get underneath the ball. And then the first exclamation from Williams, she's starting to get a little bit bothered. Generate pace off that, sometimes you can be a little more errant because you're forcing. Oh, 
Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> the defense of Williams after Suarez Navarro did so well to get the upper hand in the point. Because Suarez Navarro must have thought she had this point one. I mean, look at the positioning of Serena Williams, even on that backhand there. And I think she's going to put this away, but again, Serena Williams, great anticipation. That would have felt good. She enjoyed that rally. <laughs> That's just to get to game point. Well, and she finishes it off. She says, finally, thank you. Yeah. Who's with me? Three love start for Williams, though. She's the best female tennis player in the world. And it has been the little slight delayed wake up call for Serena. She realized. Stuff out here so far. Well, almost half hearted and casual, but it's still. It becomes pretty predictable. Players can get a bead. Yesterday against uh, Azarenka, there were some moments where it required an, an applause. I think she has enormous. Yeah, that's right in the wheelhouse. That's yeah. where you deliver a slow, underhanded pitch and continuing to try to be aggressive and do the right things. As if on cue. That's one of the areas, Annabelle, that you have to feel for Suarez Navarro. That's the time. Smooth sailing. And another put away to just emphasize the point. The spinnaker's out. She'll find herself shut out. Well, I think you talked about. Navarro's on the scoreboard, and that'll draw some support, to say the least. Budo and company in her box. Well, I will never tire of watching Serena Williams just... All of while standing on a wire when facing Williams. Keeping your balance is not easy. Well, she got a game, but that's all Williams would surrender in the opening set. As Serena, two-time champion in Madrid, Positions herself to within one set of the final four in Madrid. Little things that uh, spark a fire in you and be able to produce your best tennis. And that is a fabulous second serve. One of her best out here today. One side, forget all the patterns of play that happen. And always forget about, you know, the reputation that Serena brings out onto the court. You've just got to be able to play your game and try to... Well, it's so demoralizing, isn't it, when you have to just keep walking side to side. Uh. And well, she's competitive. There's no doubt about it. Number one for 115 consecutive weeks now. And Most effective serve against Serena in the juice court. She served a couple of times at the body and it's tucked Serena up. She wow, is that him? Oh, my goodness. That's how close to the line. So Placed out here. Oh, 
how about that service delivery? Drop set. Get that rocket head. As she's closing in on double digits and aces. And put her there. Another hold yeah, lover, second of the set. She's played the entire match from Carlos. Well, what a shame. Just backed off of that uh, return of serve, didn't she? Ninth life, or whatever yeah. you say, you know. <laughs> She's had that moment. Well done. Well, she's making headway out here. Out here. Yeah, it was called wide. And Serena's disappointed in herself. This yeah, is the most animated she's been. Yeah. Yeah. Now she wanted it to be over. She was at the position for 5 3 and watch her reaction. Well, one thing she doesn't want to do is fire this crowd up. Serena lets everybody yeah. know playtime is over. I mentioned that Suarez Navarro has had such difficulty, yeah. even just came in this event last year in the round of 16. 6 2, 6 3 victory for Williams. And that'll do it for the sixth time in as many meetings. Serena Williams finds her way to victory in straight sets against Carlos Suarez Navarro. And for the second straight year doing so here in Madrid. The 12th ranked player in the world tried her best in set number two, but is not to be today. Serena Williams, triumphant, moves into the semifinals with a 6-1, 6-3 victory. Delighting her crowd, her fans, and most of all, herself. <laughs> I'm not sure what that little dance gig thing is she's doing, but uh, Patrick must know about it. I think it must be some in-joke about sliced backhands or something. She needed to. I mean, on the whole, way too much power, just too much in every department for Carlos Suarez Navarro, who still is going to have to go back to the drawing board and find out a way to really pressure Serena Williams. To Serena Williams, Serena, it's been the sixth time you faced Carla Suarez. The last time was in Miami. Today has been a quite easy win game for you. How did you feel? Well, um, I feel good. It wasn't an easy win. Playing her on the clay is never easy. She's such a good, she's so improved so much on the hard court. Now she's improved. Um, she's always had a great clay court game. So this was a really tough match for me today.
now you are on your way to semifinals. Yeah. You could play against uh, Karina uh, Irina Camelia Begu or against Petra Kvitova. Do you have any preference? Um, I don't really have a preference. I would love to play Petra because I think she's a great player and I would love to see uh, my game against hers right now. Um, I've never played Bagu, but I would like to play her as well. But yeah, so whoever, it doesn't matter. I'm just, you know, surprised I'm still here and happy about it. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you.